Um, I think fundamentally the reason we're here is to is to really gather as much information as we can about the venue um, to put us in a better place to to execute a good regatta next year. Um, that being said, you know it's we're not here practicing. We're, we are here on the race course and and ultimately um, pushing as hard as we can to to win the races and 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 try and race as immaculately as we can. Um, so it's it's an interesting place. I, do you know what I really like it actually? It's I really enjoy west of Europe kind of sailing. It means we're on the ocean. It means the waves are big, and uh, I think that's probably what most Brit it was most Brits were brought up to do. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, the wind the wind was pretty crazy. Um, the race committee would need a lot of practice, <laughs> um, but uh, the, I mean, it was hard work. It, it, the, the, just from the fact that the wind was shifting so much, um, and actually, I think it's kind of the first time Luke and I had sailed uh, sailed in that crazy a wind. So. Um, so it was, it was sort of interesting just to see how we did and if there are any teething problems, but um, it, all, it all felt quite good. We, we were going quite well, actually. I think that any World Championships, um, uh, you know, there's often your season revolves around the World Championships and that's what you're looking to peak at. Um, uh, this, the Worlds here next year is actually not long before our 2015 Worlds, which are in March, so it'll be quite... A quick succession of, of world championships, but but uh, yeah, of course, you know the ISAF Worlds is is sort of seen as the next big big regatta for Olympic sailors, other than the Olympics, obviously. So, uh, you know, I think me and Joe are yet to tick off the world champion box in this class, and and uh, and I think it was something we'd really really love to have uh, under our belts going into the Olympics is is to say that we're world champions. So. We'll see, we'll see. It's, it's definitely a tricky venue um, and it's definitely going to be a venue where if you can get used to the, the sea state more than anything, you, you are, you'll be a strong boat. I haven't been to Rio yet, but um, I've heard that out of the harbour there's quite a big swell, so, um, so I guess there's some similarities, um, particularly when we had the sort of lightish winds today. Um, but uh, ah, it's, just, it's, it's really hard conditions, it's just good practice for everything, there's just a lot to do on the race course uh, if you're going to do well in the races.